Hello everyone, thank you for stopping on my channel. In the previous video, we worked on the operation reports in this hospital management system, Alioware and Laravel project that uh, we are contributing to. So in this video, I would like to work on request appointments and uh, uh, we already have the palm for this where our patients can request an appointment by themselves from the website. If we scroll down, you can see here, book an appointment, but I think there should be a way to like um, add appointments from the admin side as well. Let's say scenario would be like, let's say the patient is, uh, uh, the patient went to hospital physically and they want to um, have their appointment register over there physically, then um, let's say we have different rules, then um, they can get, uh, they can register the appointment here on the admin side directly. Okay, and so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to add uh, a button here that will say like add an appointment and we will have a form where we can fill the information of the patient or register a new patient and select the doctor for them the time time the time frame and uh, that will be it so let's get started i'm going to go to here i am already on the appointment dot uh, php file library class uh, library component and the first thing um, i have to do here is the is to configure the views so we will have three views um listing and add appointment and edit appointment so let's get started all right so here is our updated view here we added a add new uh, button and this is requested appointments so not just appointments and for that we have the route down here requested appointments and we have a separate uh, library component for that which is requested appointments and here we have to work on those and so far i added the conditions for the pages so by default, whenever the uh, library component is mounted, the page is going to be set to index and this view is going to be rendered, which we can see right here. So now let's work on add new form. Okay, so now if I click on add new, here we have a nice form where we can select the patient, we can select the doctor for that in, uh, appointment and we can set the time of the appointment. So maybe when the um, appointment is getting created, the start time is set and once it, uh, the appointment is ended, then we can, the, the um, user can set the end of the appointment time. So that's how this is going to work and let's give it a try and uh, let's see if it works as expected. So I'm going to set the current time as the start of the appointment and let's say after one hour the end of the appointment is set so if i click on say oh we got an error so let's debug that this is uh, supposed to be end time okay so we have start time and we have end time so i'm going to change all of them to end time and in the database we have uh, variables like this end time and out time so you can see here in the add appointment form uh, we are storing the in time and out time you can see here and after that um, i think we should set the page, page back to index like this and success message is going to be flashed and in case of update we are going to find the uh, appointment with the id and then update the information and after that save that set the page back to index and show the success message so let's try again i'm gonna click on add new and then select a fake data and click on save okay so we have an error the description do not have a default value so if i go to request requirements okay so the information that we have here are different than what we have in the um, model so we have to match them and i think the approach we use down here is going to be useful in a scenario where the existing patients wants to have an appointment and uh, maybe we can do just like this as well maybe the new uh, patients comes in and they want to have an appointment okay so if we look at the palm that we have on the user side you can see we have the uh, name email address phone etc here so i think we should go with this one um, we made a mistake here um, i made a mistake here when like uh, i just looked at these information and uh, also you can see i'm on the wrong uh, class it should be requested appointments class so you can see we have a separate model for that and let's do it all over again 
okay so i added the um, information that we have in the request and appointment uh, migration as well as um, in the model of the requested appointments and now you can see here when adding a new request appointment you can add the information that is available and we have configured in the migration so first name email phone number address and the uh, the time of the appointment and a message to the doctor so now we need to work on the back end of that so let's do it so i'm going to select the information that we have to store in the database like that and then come down here we can add validation for them and i think we don't have the doctor fields here so we have to add that as well but before that let's do this thing so all the field was required and a comma the end and now we have to add doctor into it and we could add labels as well like time here and a message here just like that and now the um, doctor so we already have done that i guess somewhere so we can just we can just copy and paste that part and to the requested appointments and let's say after address you get to select the doctor and here doctor is an employee and employee has a name it's gonna be like that and let's refresh the page and see how it looks like so i'm gonna add new and this time around i'm gonna use spectacular to fill the information and then let's click on save and patient property not found in the component so let's go back to live wire class and let's see okay so we have to put this information in the create request eloquent so what i'm going to do is do something like dollar this off and these variables just like that and after that we have to reset all of them and we can do that like this a semicolon at the end and set the page back to index and this time it should work fine doctor id does not have a default value so instead of doctor we have the doctor id and let's try again okay so it has been saved successfully and we have to work on the listing part as well since it's not looking good so what i'm going to do is if we look here you can see we are showing the doctor like that but doctor is an employee and employee has a name and we have to show the name of the doctor just like that so here we have doctor phone number etc etc and then we have actions here add as a patient uh, let's see what that does so um add fashion uh, we have that method okay we do have that method and it's going to pull that um, information from the requested appointments and store them in the fashion so i think we should have some sort of like condition if it is already a fashion then you don't have to show this part otherwise uh, show it so um, let's do that as well so how do we check if that user is already a patient mm, well i think we can use this information so just like this uh, we can create a condition using the where clause instead of create we will say where name is this email is that and this is going to be the variable that we have used throughout this so it's already request so we don't have to change it and we can check like this if this exists then do something otherwise do something else let's make this in line like that you can close that since i already have copied it and i can add app statement if this if not this then go ahead and show the plus sign and let's see if it works as expected of course we have to pass complete path to it so f models patient and this time around it should be fine and now if i make it um, as patient it's gonna disappear you can see down here and let's add a test um, appointment and test the functionality of the delete so let's say i um they requested this appointment and now i want to delete it so does the delete works fine and yeah it does so that is all about the request appointments feature of this uh, open source laravel um, plus livewire hospital management system um the project that we are contributing to it's been a month and uh, so far we have covered these features so go ahead and check this out um in the next video we are going to move on to the other features and um we will continue from there so thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video